Look at this snow on my windscreen. The countdown to Christmas is nearly over. It is nearly over. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my final vlogmas because next week's vlog is going to be like a Christmas day vlog. Um, so excited. I will be going home for Christmas very soon but over these next couple of days I have a few fun things planned. So first things first I'm going to get on the road and I'm actually heading to a place called Huntley's with a couple of friends. I have their presents in the back which I'm going to drop off with them today. We're going to have a nice lunch and then I'm going to get back this afternoon. Football's on. Tom was actually at a works Christmas do last night as well so we didn't get back till really late so it's going to be a nice chilled afternoon together we've had a nice chilled morning so far we've been watching the royal family lately and I have been loving it it's the first time I've ever seen it it's so so funny oh what a Christmas tune woo Staring out my window, looking for a sign, something to remind me of the place I left behind. Mm -hmm. My time of the year. I got home to my handsome Prince Charming, watching footy, <laughs> and I picked up at the farm shop. Our dinner! So we got some veggies to go with our... Now, I've never tried this before, so I'm hoping it's going to be nice. Game pie. Apparently it's quite rich, so we'll see how we go with that. And then I also picked up oh, a couple of cakes. Oh, I look all toasty in this. So I'm actually just going to nip to uh, the shop just to stock up on some Diet Cokes because I'm craving some Diet Coke. Um, and then I'm gonna get into my comfies and chill. So when I get back home, I think what I'm gonna do is just open up my advent calendars with you guys and just do the stereotypical what you shouldn't do but everyone always does. Open up all of them because by the time you're watching this, this will be the last vlogmas, so I might as well just crack them all open. You are happy with my cake choice? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Oh, you look nice with blonde hair. Oh, I'm going to grow it and dye it again. No. <laughs> Tom used to have long blonde hair, believe it or not. Okie doke, look what I just topped up last night. Our treat bowl. Ow! <laughs> You're just lurking, are you alright with that? Okay, let's open some other calendars. So yeah, I'm just going to get them all opened so that we are up to date. And first stop is Kiehl's. 16. Ah, oh, we have a Midnight Recovery Cleansing Oil. This is really good for taking off any makeup. 17. An Iris Extract Activating Treatment Essence. I'm actually not sure what that is. Number 18. Oh, Tom, you'll like this one. A Facial Fuel Moisturizer. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> you I can have that. that. Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. Number 20. Wow, this is a big one. Ultra Facial Cleanser, 21. Amino Acid Shampoo. In 22, we have the Conditioner. Number 23, what is this? You found Mr. Bones. Oh, it's like a little pin badge of the skeleton that they always have in uh, stores. And 24, which is a huge door. We have a full size Ultimate Strength Hand Slave Cream. Now we have Glossy Box and Look Fantastic. Oh, actually 25 doors in this one, so I'm excited for that. 16. Oh my god, yes. Fiery Pink Paper. Fiery Pink Pepper Molten Brown Shower Gel. In 17 we have from Emma Hardy a Moisture Boost Vitamin C Cream. In number 18, Neil's Yard Wild Rose Hand Cream. In number 19 at the top we have Bio Effect EGF Serum. I have no idea what that is. I've 
to look it up. 20 from Ico. There is a mascara in here. This is the Wake Up and Glow, Wake Up and Go mascara in black. In 21, we have from Delilah, a brow groom. 22 from Bubble Tea. There are some salted caramel bath fizzes. Yum. In 23 from Philorga, we have a mezzo mask. I actually have the full size of this, so I'll give that one away. 24. <gasps> Feels like a palette. It is from Sleek, a highlighting palette. And then last but not least, 25. Ooh, from Aurora I never know how to pronounce that brand, but I know they do it in um, a Harvey Nichols because I've tried it before. It is a Queen of Hungary mist. Oh. The last of the advent calendars for 2019, we have Glossy Box. Number 16, from Nude by Nature, a Touch of Glow Highlight Stick. 17, oh yes, Rituals. I love Rituals. This is a Magic Touch Body Cream. Number 18, we have Dr. Paul Paws Lip. I use this, you can use it on your nip nips. <laughs> Not your nips, your lips. I guess you could use it on your nips. Your cuticles, I was gonna say nails, that's why I got confused there. Your lips, nails, and skin. Number 19. I'll put that one on for you. I knew I was gonna say that. I'll put that one on for you. Number 19, we have from Avant Skincare a Pro Intense Hyaluronic Acid Illuminating Day Cream. 20. Oh, a palette. This is from Barry M and it is a blusher quad. Big box for 21. From Dermalogica, a daily super folian, age smart. 22, a tattoo liner. Oh my God, I'm creating an absolute mess down here. From Steve Laurent, lip gloss. Oh yeah, it's like a ready kind of color. 24, Christmas Eve. A nail polish from Nails Inc and it's in the shade. Golden days ahead, a nice festive gold colour. And then last but not least, 25. It, it is from Tarte. It is a highlight and contour palette. Oh my God, look at this. What a gorgeous product to end on. Oh, how pretty. That is it for the advent for 2019. I think we're gonna chill. Watch a movie? Yeah. This is the last probably time you'll be on Vlogmas. Oh no. We next see you in South Africa. Good morning. I am excited because this morning I am heading off to get my hair done and this is gonna be pre-holiday hair and yeah, because we're going away soon, I figured I would just have a lighten, a brighten, and a bit of a trim off the ends as well, because as you can tell, they're looking a little bit wispy. It's a little bit dark still, because it's so early. It's not even nine o'clock yet, and that is when I'm booked in. So I'm gonna set off in a second. But this is the current length of it, it's still nice and long. And it actually is in pretty good condition at the ends, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I had quite a bit chopped off last time I went. I'll leave my vlog up here when I last went because I had a full head of highlights, quite a generous trim. So it's a bit of a change, uh, whereas today is just more of a little top up. So that is what my plans are today. My car, my car went back, my one that I've had for the last couple of years, no, year and a half. Um, they... It was just on lease, that one, so that went back yesterday. So I am without a car currently, which being in a village in the middle of nowhere is a little bit uh, stressful. But it's okay, because I feel pretty prepared for Christmas and everything. And my new car, I have the delivery date, which is in two days time. So, well, today, tomorrow, and then the day after it's being delivered. So just in time for me to drive home for Christmas, to see my family. So I'm very excited for that. And then tomorrow I have a pretty good day planned as well, which obviously I'll be vlogging. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> vlogging. <gasps> Christmas is so nearly here. <laughs> right, time to get this mop sorted. Let's go.
show you same spots but similar kind of lighting the after I did actually ask her not to style it because I'm going out tomorrow night I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow myself anyway so rather than put two loads of heat on it oh gosh climbing them stairs I'm tired I just said to just leave it as is and we just straighten the ends off and and yeah nice and bright and light and I love it and a bit of a trim as well just so that the ends are nice and blunt, I love that blunt feeling. On route back, I grabbed myself a mocha, mocha, and in here is a sausage sandwich. I'm gonna enjoy this and probably check in with you again a little bit later on. just show you all my wrapping a few of you asked about um, me maybe doing a wrapping video and I was going to but then I realized as much as I love watching people wrap their presents as well and it gives me ideas you're gonna see what the presents are of which I don't want friends and family to see what the presents are so it's just it's a tricky one but anyway I'll show you the after I actually ended up getting these sacks from Poundland for a lot of people and putting their presents inside. So we have Tom's nieces there, a few bits in there for his mum, a friend. Google, turn the tree on in the living room. Sure, Yay, turning the tree on. There we go. These are also going home for friends and family. This is the only one that is from family to me. The rest of them I wrapped. These gift bags are from home bargains. Definitely gonna pick up the camera with you guys tomorrow, but I really don't think there's anything else left to show you today. Good morning. It is the day of the smear test. Cervical screening. Ugh. I don't actually have my car. I think I explained this, didn't I? Yeah, I already explained this. So because I don't have my car, Tom is kindly taking me to the doctors this morning. And then I have the massage booked in with Spa Massage, which I'll leave that information below because it is a gifted treatment, which I'm very grateful for. Although I don't have to talk about it, I will, of course, let you guys know how it goes because I just love the concept that they can come to your house, set up and... You'll see all of that later on this afternoon. And then I might try and convince Tom to take me to the supermarket to pick up a Christmas jumper for tonight's book club dinner out, which, uh, yeah, theme is sequins or like, you know, Christmas jumpers. So I ordered some of Boohoo and they've still not arrived, so I don't know if they're gonna arrive today or not. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited for today. A bit nervous for this morning. I'm not nervous, but like, it's just, you know, it's an intimate area that you're getting out to a stranger, so it's a little bit, ugh. but it's important to have it done, so it is what it is. I'm excited for my car tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so excited. Christmas present from me to me, the best Christmas present ever. What are you hiding for? <laughs> Starbucks pit stop. Do you have a holiday favorite? Oh, what are the holiday favorites? Gingerbread latte, eggnog latte. latte. Toffee nut latte <laughs> and toasted marshmallow hot chocolate. Mm. That sounds a bit you, doesn't it? No, gingerbread latte for me, pal. Gingerbread. Can I just have a small with whipped cream with skimmed milk? Thank you. Or like a semi diet or something. Yeah, part time dieter. I won't be able to write all this down. Can I get a gingerbread latte, please? Small with whipped cream and skimmed milk. Good. Let's do a gingerbread latte. Yeah. yeah. I know what you're thinking. Is that everything? Yeah, and a large <laughs> filter, please. 
Uh, we don't have filter on it in a minute. I know, oh, no, in fact, yeah, we do. But, uh, what milk ah. it is? Yeah, the, no milk, thank you. No milk, no worries. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Oh, I've been on zoomed out. Here we go. Am I paying you? What? I'm not a taxi and a bloody delivery service. <laughs> Come Uber Eats. Is that why you got a large? Because we're about five p. Large coffee, please. Filled coffee. Do you know how much? I've got the cheapest thing on the menu, other than water. In fact, I bet water. No, good. tea will be cheaper than it's filter. Not. Ask him. <laughs> You're like hench in this zoomed out thing. But this is normal, guys. And I'm on my phone at the minute, so if we zoom out, you can either zoom in. Oh no, that's not a good look. <laughs> I'm joking. Or zoom out. Woo! Like a chav. But I'm me. In my puffer. No, I like this. Can you get me one of these in blue? <laughs> I can't even see you. I tried looking. Oh, is there nothing? I couldn't see one like this, no. Like big, like... Yeah, unless you check on the women's wear. Fucking hell, how big did it go? This is probably... This is huge. You'd fit in this. Try this on. It's huge. Look at this. Yeah, but that's why I like it. I want it huge <laughs> on me. But you can try it. It's slim fit on me, isn't it? What do we think of vlogging on the phone? I'm not so sure. Just came out my cervical screen test. Hence why we're treating ourselves to a salad. I did it. I did it. Woo! No, I did it. <laughs> oh, oh no. Gross. All good. Tell me. Hello. What do you like a white up vagina? Echo, echo, echo. Echo! Swipe away the cobwebs. <laughs> we're actually just pit stopping into Primark. What are you looking for? Just holiday essentials. Like a few t-shirts or whatever. Yeah. Um, I have about my do tonight that I need to get a Christmas jumper for because my Boohoo order hasn't got here yet, so. Are you getting into your app, thing? Oh yeah, I'll be right back. Well, apparently I got a large too. I don't know if I've paid for a large or not, but I'll take it. Change yourself. What did you say about me? I thought we were going into town first. I was like, where are you going? Starbucks. Yeah, you want to look cool walking around with your cup. He said, I need you oh, to look no, cool yeah. walking around with your cup. Hello? Hello? Yeah, good morning. Can I speak to Mr. Lloyd, please? Speaking. Back home. And I thought I would show you what I picked up from Primani. Instead of a Christmas jumper, I wanted to get a t shirt ideally just because it's hot. Uh, well, I always get hot really easily anyway, but the restaurant that we're going to I tend to get quite hot Never have like a jumper or jacket on in there So I thought a Christmas t-shirt would be nice with like just some leather pants and heeled boots So I picked up this which I just thought was so funny one of my favorite Christmas scenes from a favorite Christmas movie picked that up in a large for six pounds and then just to jazz it up a little bit and make it all the more festive I picked up a headband. There's a little jazzy number at five pounds. <sighs> right, I'm gonna get on with some work for the next hour. This is my spa table set up. I'm gonna enjoy a lovely massage now. Excuse that print in the back that Tom brought. Um, that is just on loan from someone to someone, so ignore that. I'm going to relax, unwind, enjoy, and let you guys know how I get on afterwards. That was lovely, thank you. Did you like it? Yeah, I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're really, really lovely, thank you. Yeah. But another thing I thought was really good was the waxing. To be able to have a wax in your own home. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people will like that. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. See you later. Bye. 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 I am well and truly zen. Oh, oh my god, I'm so relaxed. Look how I've got my candles burning. These ones, by the way, smell amazing. They're the M&S ones that come with the glass cloche dome, which I showed, like, I showed them a while ago. I got them at the M&S outlet. 
They are slightly different, but they're so good. Anyway, the only slight downside is I haven't set my temperature high enough in this room. I start getting a little bit chilly, but that's my own fault. So obviously you can set your temperature to exactly how you like it in your own home. So let me just show you the app because I thought this was a really good idea and that's why I booked in. It's called Secret Spa. Okay, so this is their Instagram, Secret Spa UK. Um, so they were originally London based, but now they're Manchester and surrounding areas. So obviously I'm not city centre, but they've travelled to me, which was amazing. They do spray tan, they do uh, events, nails, eyes, hair, makeup, massage, waxing. So it's a really good concept if you want to sort of be in the comfort of your own home whilst getting a treatment done. Super easy. She had everything. She had all the towels that I needed. She had the, obviously the bed. All you need is just an open space, like I've got this front room, which was ideal, really. And she also had a speaker, which is lovely, to be able to put on some relaxing music. But obviously, you can do that yourself. You can light your own candles, like I've done as well. You're nice. Thank you, baby. What do you think of this headband? I like it. Do you like it? Yeah, it's cute. Do you not think I look different? Like a little girl. I suppose I am three years younger than you. Quite. <laughs> Okay, have fun. Have a nice day. evening. Get it, girl. <laughs> Where's our little son? Look, look. Boy. Good morning. We are off to Leeds this morning. It's the big day. We're picking up the car. I was a fan of this headband, so I've decided to wear it again today. Which... I don't know. I'm um, kind of liking it. I was, huh? I yeah. I always thought that I yeah. would hate. No, I was gonna say I always thought that I would hate headbands, and I'm still not 100% sure. No, I think you're really nice. But I'm trying it. I'm like forcing myself to try it at least. And yeah, I like the fact that it's a little bit glitzy. We're going shopping in Leeds. It's gonna be Christmassy, so everything else I'm wearing is just basic black t-shirt. I've got my Topshop leather leggings on this faux fur coat, my YSL Lulu bag, and some Ralph Lauren boots which need rehealing definitely. Yeah, I know, I need to get them rehealed. I can do it another time. You can do what you want. I do do what I want. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Let's go shopping to Leeds. I'm gonna pick up my new car. You all right there? kind of boots not a fan we actually only have two hours we've had a call the car will be ready to collect in two hours so it's not that much time for browsing so I feel like I'll show you a little bit but we're gonna get our shop on Peloton. 
What's that? So you get these. Oh. Oh god. Here we you go. You have spinning from home. Yay! It's cool, isn't it? It's not for me. I'm gonna go over to the white company. Are you coming? Yeah. yeah. This is where we have come in the actual shopping centre bit, this little arcade. There is a Harvey Nichols uh, espresso bar, I think they call it, where we've got some snacks, some small mains, and some coffees. just popped into Zara and picked up three things. It's really hard to shop for um, bits for South Africa because obviously it's winter here and it's going to be hot in South Africa. So I've struggled. I was hoping to find a few bits, new bits to take, but I am going to go into H&M after this. Have a look there, if not have a look online. Uh, but I thought these would be really nice for traveling in. I love the color of them. And if they had a matching top, that'd be great. So I am actually gonna ask if they do stock one. And then this, I thought would be quite nice as a like a dress. Because it's so long, and this is in a small, $29.99. The material feels amazing. And the little buttons are like a kind of shell kind of finish. Let me hold it up to me so you can see what length it is. It goes to way below my knees. So really nice and loose and floaty. Something good to throw on to go down to the pool in or equally out and about just walking. So if it's not too sheer, I think I'm gonna get that. And then last but not least, this is more for now really. So I don't really need this, but I just loved the fabric of this so much. It's like a towel fabric, it's amazing. And it was only 19.99. They had loads of different colors. So I obviously opted for the beige, the neutral, because I don't play around too much with color. I like to mix it up with fabrics. And I have gone for an oversized fit with a large. So yeah, just thought I'd show you those three items. Feeling a little less glamorous now that I've just had to run to this train. <laughs> but we're on the train to just go to a village just outside of Leeds. It's about a 10 minute train. I've got my coffee, which Tom very kindly bought me. Thank you. Whilst I was queuing in Primani. HM was rubbish. I don't know if there's another one in Leeds or not, but that was pretty dire, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like there was a, no menswear, like homeware. Yeah, it was rubbish. Uh, so we didn't get anything from H&M. We did go to Primark, picked up a couple of bits, a couple of PJ sets for holiday, and a couple of like crop top bra type things. And in Zara, I went for the joggers. And I'm hoping I can find the matching top online, but if not, I'm just gonna wear the joggers for traveling. Oh, we're up. We are off. But the returns policy was at the point where we'd be in South Africa and I wasn't sure about that shirt so I ended up leaving it and what both of them actually but yeah got the joggers etc 
excited for holiday. Ah. I'm excited for my car. 10 minutes away from the new wheels. But it's pretty straightforward. Second exit at the roundabout. Second exit at the roundabout. Up it? Yeah. It's just being in, back in an automatic. If anyone's been from manual to automatic and then had to go back to manual to then come back to automatic, it's like, woohoo! Hallelujah! You're like, oh, I'll be turning your neck, and then you're like, <laughs> I'm scared still. I'm a bit nervous. You're like me flying. Yeah, but this isn't, I'm not used to getting in a new car all the time. Do you like it? Oh, look at it's the beautiful, dashboard. beautiful, isn't it? You got it is seats, white. It's electric. We'll, we'll show it to you when we get outside. Okay. You've right. definitely got the best one. Straight on. What's about here? Petra. Do you know which one? The power? No. Does it reach? Of course it reaches. How much, how much do you reckon it'll take to fill? Are you going to fill it? Yeah. About, I'm going to go 55 quid. quid. Well, the Citroen was 45. I'm going to go 60 quid. I'll get to 50, we'll see. Do you like it? Yeah, do you? Oh, that's nice. It is now obviously pitch black, but this is my new car. I just said white automatic is my preference, and I love it. Merry Christmas from me to me. Home at last, home sweet home. And the tree has turned on for us. Tom's got it on a timer, which is quite nice actually, so that when we get home. So it looks like. Oh, that's cool. It looks good. It actually works, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna sign off this vlog here. So I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas 2019. I know I did it weekly. Might next year, depending on where we are, what we're up to. Who knows, may do it daily. But um, we are gonna go out with some friends tomorrow night and then see Tom's family. I'm gonna head home. Tom's heading to South Africa. And then on New Year's Eve, me and my mum are flying and joining him there. So plenty of exciting content to come with it being in South Africa for the first couple of weeks. I hope you all have a really lovely Christmas. I'm gonna try and get a bonus fun little video up on Christmas day itself with my mom and dad, which should be fun if they're willing participants. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.